So we're going to use an app today called Snapseed. Snapseed is a free app both on iOS and Android. So if we just open this up, and that's a image I've already been working on, so let's just cancel that. And what you'll get is you'll get a preview to your photos library. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring this one here. This is part of a cooking show that I'm working on. So you'll notice at the bottom, you've got lots of stock options. So all you do is you slide across with your finger, tap on, and it'll apply all of those looks to your image. So that's pre-prepared stock editing content. So this is great if you want to do a really quick edit or you want to get something out really quick and you don't have time. I'm gonna cancel that and go into the tools feature. So first of all, let's look at tune image. So this gives you a lot more creative control. So all I do is I tap the image and I just slide up and I get all of these options. So I'm just adjusting the brightness, go to contrast and adjust the current contrast, saturation, and I'm doing this super quick just so I can show you all of these features. So I'm just gonna drop the shadows down, make it a little bit warmer. Already, you can see that image is starting to pop a little bit more. So let's go back into our tools and let's go look at our detail. So structure and sharpening. So I'm just gonna sharpen our image just a little bit. So if I go all that way, you can see, slide it down and I'm just using my finger left and right to get all of this information in there. So that's looking pretty good. Okay, let's go back. Let's look at our curves. So curves is where you can control the amount of light. So if I just bring it up at the top, there we go. So I'm just playing around so you can see at the bottom, I've got all of these stock things. So if I just click them, it'll instantly adjust that image for me. So look at that little S curve there. So that's just by touching those stock curves at the bottom. We'll go to the white balance now. This is a really cool feature, this. So what I can do now Oops, excuse me. What I can do now is I can adjust the temperature. So I take my little dropper and if I move that around, it'll adjust the white balance based on what I'm selecting. Obviously, use this sparingly. I don't want my image to be that blue because that's super cold. But if I pop it on the milk, it'll give me a temperature. So the next thing I'm going to do now within my tools is I'm going to click the crop. So already this has cropped it at 16.9. So there we go. Just reframe that image there and let's have a look what else do we have over here let's go to the selective tool so what i can do here this is where it gets really cool guys what i can do is i can select the milk so i just tap the milk slide it with my finger and i can just adjust that part of the image if i just drop the saturation just so you can see there so only thing that's getting affected is everything in that color range so my milk uh, primarily all right, wonderful, and let's go back. Let's have a look at a different one. Let's have a look down here. Okay, so here we've got our HDR scope. I don't use this that often, but I wanted to show you what it can do. Again, at the bottom, I've got my stock things. If I just tap them, it will apply those, and I have adjustment over those, again, by tapping the image and my controls come up. But let's get out of that, and let's have a look at some of the other ones, just so you've got an idea of what they do, really. All right, so we're on our style ones. We've got our grunge, and I'm just sliding across with my thick finger, and you'll see at the top, it's just adjusting that image. Again, this is really, really good if you want to create a really stylized image. For this, I'm just going to cancel that and come back out. Go into my vintage one. Again, get some really interesting vintage stock looks like things from the Kodak range, all that kind of stuff. And again, really great if you want a stylized look, but for this I don't, so I'm just gonna come out of that. You'll notice there's so many options that I'm not gonna go through them all, because we'll be here all day. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna touch the lens blur, because I use this one a lot. So I'm gonna put my blue over my milk, because I want that in focus. And I just move my finger to the right, and you'll notice everything that is outside of that circle is blurred. I can change that circle to a different shape if I want, so I could have a star or a love art or anything, but for now I'm gonna keep it a circle. So I'm just gonna go back into our tools menu and I'm just gonna select text. So let me click the text option. There we go, and already I get this really interesting text. I'm not gonna go through all the stock text because you know how to do that, but I'm just gonna change this text. So this is for a cooking show that I'm currently making. It appears that I can't spell it also. So um, let me just type some text in here and then you'll see how instantly that is already applied to that text format. And again, if I click the text, I can change it and I can go for a different format. 
but I'm just gonna leave that there now, just resize that text a little bit and just move it across just to give it a nice sense. And already I've got a really super image that I can use on social media or I can use it as a poster. I hope that's been useful. I will do some more sessions on Snapseed and I'll see you in the next one.